So the question we're going to answer today is um, certain people have a difficulty to find their why. Why in life? Saying what is the greatest purpose of their living? What is their passion? What is their, what is their main goal, focus in life? Okay. So I've seen it like three different uh, levels to it. One is people who know what their why is, people who don't know what their why is, and people who know their why in a wrong way, meaning the why is understood in a total wrong way. Like example, imagine if I have to uh, give you an example. <clears throat> I mean, this is a very common example. So the example is, imagine you want to hang beautiful pictures of your family, right? In the wall, you see the wall here? Imagine you want to hang beautiful memories of pictures of your family so that you can recollect and think and imagine and reminisce that. So what are you going to do is you go first thing is you're going to take a picture and then you're going to develop it, get it printed and then you're going to put it in a frame and then you're going to drill holes here and then you're going to put it. To understand the why correctly means to say why am I doing it because I love my family and so I want to put these images here, which will be a constant reminder and it will also make me feel good, right? So the, the right why is about hanging memories, the memories that I have made in my life. I want to hang those so that I can come back to it. So that's the right kind of a why. If you understood your why correctly, that's how you're going to think. You're going to look at life like that. You're going to look at uh, mm -hmm. situations like that. But then... If you did not understand the why correctly and you understood the why in a wrong way, it would mean uh, you're thinking about, hey, I have, to, uh, I have to print pictures. I have to drill a hole here. You get to see the, the hard work. You get to see the work in its monotonous uh, nature. That is, I'm going to uh, st uh, take print, I have to go meet a photographer, I'm going to bring that guy, take a picture, and then I'm going to frame it, and then I'm going to hang it. So we think it in the monotonous nature, even though it's the same work. The work which is done with the why has already uh, got uh, disconnected. So the work that is done with the proper why in mind will look with others into the picture like it's it's not just me it's not just my goals it's my family I'm, I'm going to think of a bigger bird's eye view so what is that the bird's eye view is not about me drilling holes here the bird's eye view is not about me putting it into the frame no the bird's eye view is i want to create memories i want to put some reminders memorials in front of me which will remind me of the love that i'm receiving from my family so if i look at it like that then I understood the why correctly, okay? And But if I don't look at it like that, I'm looking at it only just purely of the work that needs to be done, that is drill holes, put it into frames, put the images, then I'm not going to see the, the purpose. I'm not going to see the, the ultimate why of what I'm doing, right? So in everything that we, in every what, there is a why. So what are you doing? Like you want to move one thing to the other. Like you want to, if somebody is asking, okay, give me some water. The reason why you're responding to it is because it's not because of the work that you're doing. You're going to carry that bottle and come and give. If you think in that level, you're going to think about, hey, I'm feeling lazy, man. No, if you think at different level, if you know your why, you're going to think like, hey, I'm going to quench his thirst. That's the reason why I'm taking that bottle and giving to the person, all right? So with that, I want you to leave with this idea in mind saying, do you know your why properly or you don't know your why? And if you don't know your why, it's because you've known your why in a wrong way. You've understood the why uh, in, a, in, a, in a sense which is not, which is not the, the bird's eye view, which is not the view that you need to look at it, right? So think about it. I want you to understand your why in the right way, which will, uh, which will open your minds to newer possibilities. But if you don't understand that, you will settle down to the whys, which will never motivate you. The reason why I say there are people who have purpose, there are people who know the why, there are people who don't know the why. The reason they don't know the why is because they've known a wrong why. 
a wrong why will never give you the passion to do what you need to do why because you understood you replaced the right why with the wrong why when you have the wrong why the wrong why never gives you the motivation to do something it never gives you the motivation to do something all right so think about uh, today i want to encourage you with the question of your why why has god placed you in a in a certain office in a certain workplace why and uh, how should you go about uh, treating your work without uh, uh, without just uh, treating it like okay anything so what has god given under your care and how are you treating it do you do you treat it with the with the right why or do you treat it with a why which is i mean understood a wrong way you know what i don't say this in a very uh, like wow i got it all but then I, i as i say it i feel guilty of my own uh, ways of not responding to the why that i have to respond right so 